Hey everybody, it's Reviews and More, back with a quick technology review. This is on the Adesso Extreme M4. As always, if you find this review helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps me out. Alright, so the, right now you are hearing me record with this microphone. I'm using DaVinci Resolve software using default settings. So right now you're not hearing any kind of post-production noise reduction kind of stuff happening. So this microphone is about $40 shipped and it is, what it comes with is obviously the USB connector. It's got a good length to it, a little mini tripod, and the microphone itself. So a pretty simple setup for about $40. Bucks. Um, as far as quality, I would say it is far and above the quality you would get from a standard like budget or really even like some decent webcams that are kind of freestanding. Certainly integrated webcams and microphones from laptops are nowhere near as good as this microphone, but maybe a little bit less than like a uh, blue, like the blue brand um, snowballs, that kind of stuff that are a little more expensive in the $60, $70 range. But this is definitely a good improvement over um, just an integrated microphone and a lot more professional and has the versatility of being able to kind of move around with you. This would be good for certain teaching a applications where you might be, let's say like at a board trying to explain a concept with remote education because that's unfortunately the environment that many of us might be in because of various things happening in the world. Um, as you can see here, the tripod is pretty self-explanatory how it hooks in. There's a little uh, a little slot for the microphone itself. This microphone can also be plugged into a to, an, to a standard arm if you're in that kind of situation, maybe for streaming, that kind of stuff. Set up like a budget streaming rig, maybe, if you're doing that kind of stuff for video games on Twitch. But overall, the quality is pretty daggone good, all things considered. It's a cardioid mic, meaning that basically the direction of the mic impacts where and how the sound occurs. Basically, you want to be speaking right into the Adesso label on the actual microphone itself. The, the volume adjustment's there, but doesn't really have a big gain adjustment. So um, there's, if you, unless you have a software side gain solution that will work with this mic, you're not going to have a little, whole lot of variation there. Um, you're about to see a OBS recording using all default settings, just so you kind of have an idea what's going on, followed by me demonstrating what it sounds like with a little bit of post uh, production noise reduction just to see if we can get some improvement in the overall quality for those who might use it for recordings that can later be played. Alright guys so here is the actual Adesso mic right in front of me. It's about a foot or so away from my face so this is the quality of sound you expect to get with that distance. I have found that there is a much more rich uh, voice tone on my recordings when you bring the microphone up close to your face that's not shocking considering how microphones work. However, some people don't like to be in this kind of recording situation where you have a microphone right in your face. It's almost certainly going to involve using some kind of arm or functional way. Otherwise, it's you coming right up to the microphone. And depending on your needs, that might not look professional for you if you're in an office setting where you don't want to be down looking like this. Or you just don't have the equipment to hang a microphone over top of you so you don't have to have it in your way. And the mounting apparatus is required for that and this is just using OBS it's the standard settings nothing's been changed there's everything's basically set to default the only thing that's been altered from the original is the camera's microphone is turned off and the Adesso microphone is turned on to pick up the sound for this video um, it'll also give you an idea of how much if any um, lag time you can hear so if you see my voice mismatching that's not from the rendering of the video that you're watching that's most likely any, if there's a delay, it's from the camera to the Adesso microphone. There shouldn't be too much. It's USB connected. They're typically pretty quick. But um, this is what you can kind of expect at this distance. You can see it's about a foot and a half away from me right now. And this is kind of the, the sound quality you can get from my voice. All right, so now we're just going to do a quick test. This is going to be the Adesso microphone again, but this time we're going to put some post-production um, noise reduction in using DaVinci Resolve software. That's the software I use for all my video recordings at this point, and this will kind of give you an idea of what it sounds like. Now I'll jump back in to the non uh fixed or non post-production enhanced version and maybe jump back and forth over and over so you can kind of see what the difference is and this is with me speaking at about a distance of maybe three to four inches away from the microphone itself all right now this is the unenhanced version so you might hear some background noise a little more a bit of humming it might sound a little more tinny depending on how well the uh, post-production software kind of removes outside noise but this is what you would normally hear if there were no settings changed around it's also similar to what you would hear if you were like in a google meet or some other kind of meeting setting or recording with no post-production 
All right, so now we're back in with some post-production noise reduction settings, and this is what you can expect with a little bit of uh, just some smart uh, software side post-production noise removal. All right, guys, and with that, I would say that's the end of my review. I'd say for $40, this is a worthwhile product. I think if you're just someone who's uh, using it for, let's say, if you, if you need a microphone, let's say, for the occasional Zoom meeting and you're using a laptop, probably don't need to use this. But if you're in a situation where you're like, I have to sound good, I have to make sure that the quality's up, and more importantly, maybe I don't need to have the crappy quality that typically comes with like laptop integrated microphones and you also don't want to have to deal with let's say like a headset that's going to affect how you look in a presentation god forbid you got to go to like a job interview where you have to deal with certain settings and lighting issues that you want to look your best and you're kind of forced into like putting your face down close to a microphone that's near a uh, that's on the bottom that's near the keyboard on let's say a laptop so this kind of helps you out there so overall i think 40 bucks is a reasonable price for the quality of microphone i think it also works pretty well overall um, are there better microphones yes but i would also say that there's better microphones are going to require a, you paying a higher premium this is 40 dollars and it'll get you going and i think the best thing about it is the fact that it's fairly mobile it's also very compact so i think you could pack this away and not have to worry about it being too heavy or too light sorry too heavy to move around quickly and overall really happy with the purchase it's it'll it's a great backup microphone if you're someone who's using a maybe a higher quality microphone but you don't want to take that places and risk damaging it this is a good solution for those people who are in that position i think it's also a good introductory streaming mic setup if you don't want to use a headset as well as obviously all the other applications including teaching where it can pick up a little more sound from the area compared to let's say a microphone that's on your laptop which if you have to do things up like a board or a presentation area that isn't necessarily near a laptop screen you might benefit from having this kind of microphone without having to spend hundreds of dollars to make sure you're getting a super duper high-end mic that runs the risk of falling over and stuff so thanks for watching guys and have a great day